Hey guys, I have a very graphic, probably vulgar video for you guys today. Very unlike anything that I really have on my channel, but kind of related so you guys can stick with me. Um, if you're under the age of like 18, probably, I don't even know, 16, whatever the YouTube age is, you guys might want to go click somewhere else um, because this is graphic and um, we're going to be talking about women's parts. So um, my husband... I asked him to wax me. You guys have seen on my channel, he waxes my underarms. What you guys don't know is that he actually also waxes my hoo-ha. And so the first time we did this, he waxed me with sugar wax. And I said to him, please don't go um, near the lips because uh, I'm really afraid. I've heard horror stories from people who thought that they could wax and were not qualified to wax. And it was just a debacle. So please don't do that. So he's like, yeah, no problem. This is the first time. And he's like, I think the other wax would be better because it's a little bit stronger. You guys can see in the um, sugar wax versus um, non-sugar wax, the traditional hard wax. The traditional hard wax kind of held a little bit better. Um, but when it came to down here, the sugar wax was actually better. Um, probably because I didn't have like a layer of deodorant down there. So anyway, so he's feeling a little better about this. And it's the second time around of him waxing me down there. And so we do the whole backside and we're coming up to the front. And we were running out of strips. And when you use traditional wax, you need to have the strips because that's what it adheres to and then you pull it off. And I'm pretty good because I used to get waxed regularly. Um, and so I know that I have to hold my own skin down. Like you have to like hold your own skin down while they pull because um, it's less painful and it just is an easier break. Even like when you do eyebrows, I know this, like you just hold the skin down, it's just easier. And so I was holding my own skin down, everything was great, and we were running out of space to wax. And I was telling him that you can re-wax on the same strip that has wax on it. Um, and it was just getting a little bit harder for him to do, probably for inexperience, probably because it wasn't like ideal circumstances. Um, he was reusing the same strip. We only had like one strip to do the whole area. And so I'm like, I'm like, where are you gonna do this last piece? Because we both agreed it was gonna be the last piece. It wasn't 100%, but we were like, let's just have this be the last piece because there's not a lot of room on the cloth. And so he's like, I'm not sure where the last piece is gonna be. And so he goes there and he puts it down and he's like, right on the lips. And I'm like, you're putting it on the lips? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, you've never done this before. And he's like, no, no, I did it last time. And I'm like, no, you didn't do it. <laughs> we didn't do the lips last time. And he's like, yeah, no, like, this is fine. Like, whatever. So I'm like, okay, so now I'm like kind of nervous, but kind of like, I trust him. He's like good at everything he does. Like he can do something for the first time and he's really, really good at it, like all the time. So he puts it down. He puts the strip that has a lot of the wax on it, on it. And I'm holding myself. And um, he's like, which way do I pull? And at this point, I'm like, I don't even know because I can't envision the way the hair grows. So I'm like, I'm not even sure, like whatever you think. And he pulls it. And my husband's very strong and he pulls it. And I literally went from on my back to on my front. I flipped, I flipped over. All I remember was kicking out my right leg, like a bicycle, but only my right leg. So I'm like kicking out my leg. Like, like when a dog dreams or like when a dog is dreaming of running and they're like just kicking out their legs. I'm kicking out my leg and I'm not saying anything. And I'm like, <gasps> oh, and like, I'm not somebody who's like, oh, owie, owie, owie. like I'm not that kind of person. Like, I think I internalize it or like, like I'll hurt myself and I'm like, I just need a minute. Like, don't even talk to me. I can't look at it. I can't do anything. Like, I just need a minute to like calm myself down. Um, and then I could like see the injury. Like that's the kind of person. So at this point I'm in like excruciating pain, but I'm like, you know what? It's okay. Whatever. So my husband's like, wait, there was like a ton of wax still on you. And I'm like, what? So like I look down and it's basically none of it came off on the strip. I don't know how that's possible, but like none of it came off on the strip. It was still on me. So now I'm like in a panic mode because I'm like, how am I going to get this wax off? Like it hurts so bad. So now the wax is panicking me because I'm like, how am I going to get the wax off? Like that's the stuff that like really panics me. And then I'm like, this is really hurting. And I think I may have went to the bathroom. I may have peed. And when I wiped myself, there was blood. And I'm like, what? So um, I start to look inside to see where the blood is. And it's in like, it's towards the back, but it's right where like the opening to like your sex organ vagina part is and like the lip wall and it's torn. This is not a joke. And I'm like, holy crap, the sight of blood gets me. And I think it's because when I was younger, I know I've told the story, I hit my head in the corner of a shoe rack. I had to get stitches. Um, I like broke the bone toward to like 
broke the two bones or tore a muscle, whatever it was. I had to get like 13 stitches right here in my face. Um, and so the sight of blood gets me. Like I can't, like when I have to do blood work, like I need to lay down. Um, I will pass out. I have passed out. Like I can't. So I'm like, all right, I definitely have to shower because not only do I have like so much wax on me, but I also am bleeding and I don't want to get an infection. So um, I go in the shower, I have the water hot to try to get the wax off and I'm like, I'm going to pass out. Like I was like, whew, the whole time I had my hands on the shower like this and I'm like, I'm going to pass out, I'm going to pass out. And my husband's sitting outside the shower feeling so guilty and I'm like, this is not even your fault. Like I asked you to do this, you like it's not your fault. And he's like, I cannot believe I hurt you, blah, blah, And I'm like, no, no, like, not your fault, whatever. So um, this is this is wild. So um, I can't get the wax off. So I'm like, can you give me a scissor? So I'm like cutting the wax off while I'm in the bathroom. Like, this is this is marriage, folks, okay? Like, you want your husband to wax you? This is it. Um, so I'm like cutting off the wax. I'm like trying to get it off. I'm trying to like clean in there without like hurting it. But then it's like burning and the water is like hot. So I'm like, I had to turn... I, couldn't take a hot shower because I was like, I'm going to collapse. Um, so anyway, as I'm in the shower, I'm thinking I want to do a video about this for two reasons. Um, one is to talk about how fucking strong women are. Like, <laughs> I understand that I just got a little cut. Like, it looks like a paper cut. Um, the fact that it was from pure force, like him ripping, um, that just ripped my vagina off of its lips, like literally, um, is a whole thing um but like i like women who like have give birth like i'm still having a hard time peeing and this was like three days ago um amazing literally amazing like just something it's just crazy um so that was my first thing like how strong women are i barely even made a sound and i literally was like all right like whatever i'm wearing a pad every day because i still have a little bit of blood coming down um and then I was thinking, if I waxed, and my husband's a strong man, if I waxed my husband's balls and it ripped from the balls to his penis or to the little, like, area that's behind there that, you know, would be a vagina had he been a woman, um, and it was bleeding, I'm pretty sure <laughs> it would have been worse than what happened to me. And so that's my story. So, um don't try this at home my husband said that he likes the sugar wax better for that area and he likes the um hard wax better for this area um don't try it at home it's just it's not worth it i am in pain um you know it's it's weird it's like a it's like a paper cut pain like where it's like annoying it's not like when it first happened i think i i don't even know what, i literally jumped i was like a sausage in the pan like i jumped from like one side i couldn't even control my body it just happened um, and that whole night was an experience trying to get the wax off was really stressful knowing that I was just bleeding knowing that I was just ripped um, That was all really stressful. Um, but as the days go on My biggest fear is getting an infection. So I'm trying to keep it as clean as possible um, I don't really know like I'm sure like when you give birth they like tell you like what exactly to do I never gave birth. I'm not gonna give birth. Um, so this is like the closest I think I'll ever come to having something like that go on down there, especially because he's not waxing my lips anymore. Is he allowed to wax the rest down there? Yeah, yeah, totally. He's really good at it. Is he allowed to wax my lips? No, never again. He also doesn't want to. He sat me down on the bed and said, I never want to do that again. Um, and I was like, like the lips or like the whole thing? And he's like, no, the lips. Like, I'll never do that again. And I was like, yeah, I agree. We're on the same page. So anyway, um, this video might be demonetized, but I think I gave you guys a good enough warning in the beginning. Anyway, the story is women are really fucking strong and um, yeah, and so don't try this at home. And also I have a waxer in the salon right now. So if you wanna go get your hoo-ha wax by a professional who won't rip your lips off, um, you guys can go make an appointment with her. It is completely private, one-on-one -on -one appointments. She's the only person there when she is there doing it. And so the door locks. When you come in so you don't have to worry about like people coming in or anything like that we don't give out the address unless you schedule an appointment in which we have your information and so we're just um that kind of a salon so if you guys want to go get it done you guys can book an appointment with her um yeah and that's about it all right i'll talk to you guys later i love you guys um again don't try it at home and that's about it all right bye guys